Uh, my name is Indrabir Gill. I am chairman of the Department of Urology at the University of Southern California Keck School of Medicine. Well, robotics is not just the future, it's the present of surgery. Uh, this robotic system allows one to really have the ultimate operating environment. It is beautifully lit up, it is magnified, there is dexterity, uh, the instrument wrists are right at the site of the operation. You really cannot imagine a better operative environment in beautiful 3D, no tremor, minimal blood loss. So all these things really make for uh, excellent surgery and excellent outcomes given of course that the surgeon is, is good and the dexterity, the capability of really executing delicate maneuvers on a millimeter by millimeter level. That I think elevates the entire surgical platform. That's what's exciting to me. Well, I mean, uh, until recently, for the past 100 years, to do surgery in the belly, you had to make a big cut from stem to stern, right? right? To cure, we had to inflict pain. Now, we can do the exact same operation on the inside, but only through four or five little keyhole cuts. We have now not eliminated, but minimized this trauma. So bottom line, instead of the big cut, we're talking four or five little keyhole cuts, no muscle cutting, etc. And therefore, pain is less, recovery is faster, and so patients can get back to their normal living far sooner than they could earlier. I don't think all surgery will go robotic, but certainly, so the big cancers, big tumors will still be done open surgically as they should be, but most of the other uh, surgery will go robotic. If you were to ask me, give me a percent guess, I'd say good 75% of surgery wow. in the belly would go robotic. Wow. Surgery center is not for every patient. It's only for those that are fit, otherwise healthy, and in good shape, who do not have major other problem. Why should a patient choose the surgery center? Well, I mean, outpatient surgery eliminates a hospital stay. And hospital stay has its own set of issues. When it is necessary, it is important. You know, if it's a major surgery, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. of course you need to be in the hospital. Yeah. But if you don't need to be in the hospital, you, you shouldn't be in the hospital. I think our ability now to do robotic prostate surgery in the outpatient setting is a step forward. Well, it's our team. Uh, any, any real major endeavor is never a one-man thing. It's always a team. We are driven by innovation. We are driven by excellence and developing new things and doing that rigorously in an honest, self-critical way. And so we are still developing uh, this outpatient robotic prostatectomy. We've done about 32, 33 cases so far and everything has gone beautifully so far. So we are getting, we are collecting the data and getting ready to put this in a scientific publication. Robotic surgery, in, I'm a urologist, so robotic surgery in urology is really coming along very, very nicely. In the past 10 years, uh, 10 years ago, only 1% of prostate surgery in America was done robotically or minimally invasively. Today, 85%, 90% in such a short period of time. Kidney surgery, again, it is beginning to go minimally invasive. Uh, bladder surge, cancer surgery is also beginning to go minimally invasive. So what is next for robotics in urology was your question and my answer is uh, robotics is beginning to move more and more mainstream as the experience with this gets better, as the expertise gets better, as the results get more uh, published and more confirmed by others. It is not the robot though that gets the job done. No, it is the surgeon. Yeah, no. You get into a Ferrari, it's not going to get you from point A to point B. You have to be the driver. So it is always the man behind the machine right. that is the fundamental determinant of outcomes. An open surgeon would say that it's very easy to do open surgery. 
right? So it is not that the job is easier, it is that it allows a major operation which till now has required a big cut to be done through keyhole incisions. It's a fantastic advance. Oh, absolutely. And to be able to do this in a reproducible, solid, confident uh, manner, yeah. uh, the robot certainly provides a stable platform that makes it happen.